I'm Jill Simonian with your Reels Channel Movie News. Now, when it comes to creating movie magic, there's a slew of specialized companies in Hollywood that will do just that. And one company provides a very unique service, actors who are full of hot air. They're called inflatable dolls, and they can be found at the Inflatable Crowd Company. There's 30,000 inflatable mannequins that we use for crowd scenes for movies. Some of those movies include Spider-Man 3, Rocky Balboa, Zodiac, and the list goes on. We did Cinderella Man, and that was the biggest crowd that we ever created. I built 11,000 mannequins, all dressed for the Great Depression. Falling in love is wonderful. In Spider-Man 3, Kirsten Dunst sings to an audience of some real people, a love-struck Tobey Maguire, and about a thousand inflatable dolls. The applause wasn't very loud. And as for the blow-by-blow -blow of inflatable doll making... We have 30,000 inflatable torsos, and each of those torsos is individual, and then we dress them specific to the look of whatever the production we're working on. Then they all get masks that are all unique. They're real people's face molds that have been hand-painted, so they all have individual details. And then wigs or hats, again, depending on the look of it. And sometimes the dolls can be a little too realistic, like in the case of Flags of Our Fathers. We had built full-body mannequins for them to represent fallen soldiers for the Battle of Iwo Jima. And there were some days where the ocean was just so rough that bodies would be taken out to sea, literally. The search and rescue was called in to uh, pick up a body found in a waterfall about six miles away from where we were filming. And when they got over there with the helicopter, they found it was just one of our dolls. There's more Reels Channel movie news at three to the hour, every hour, and on reelschannel.com. I'm Sam Rubin with your Reels Channel movie news. Real animals often play key roles in movies, but sometimes the roles are a little too dangerous for an animal actor. That's where animal animatronics come in. The final product can be truly amazing. They look real, sound real, and feel real, but they're not, they're animatronic. An animatronic animal is a piece that we create that represents a live animal that uh, will then perform actions that the live animals can't do on set. When it comes to animal safety, it's American Humane to the rescue. They're on set with the animals from day one, working directly with animatronic and special effects companies like Creature Effects. It's a very proactive, very positive situation. All we really want is for each and every animal to be as protected as possible. Creature Effects created an animatronic dog for Shooter, starring Mark Wahlberg, for a scene where Mark is running from the law. Take your hat off! The animatronic dog that we used in the shooter movie was to replace the live animal for a scene where the dog was to go through a window. And the animatronics were used so that we didn't have to put the live animal in a precarious situation where it might get injured. And he wasn't. American Humane is right there to make sure everything goes smoothly. When I survey what's going to happen for the stunt, I know that we have this backup, this amazing piece of technology that can prevent the animal from being injured. Creature Effects also created a horse for Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai. <laughs> We built a million dollar horse for Tom to ride during the fight sequences. Every time you see Tom fighting on a horse, it's our horse. The horse was designed to represent all of the movements of a real horse and to perform stunt sequences that we didn't want to put Tom Cruise at risk in. Here's how the real scene played out. Now, the animatronic animals are sometimes so convincing they even fool real animals. One horse in the Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, tried repeatedly to get the attention of the animatronic horse on set. Well, there's more Reels Channel movie news at 3 to the hour every hour and on ReelsChannel.com. I'm Jill Simonian with your Reels Channel movie news. Academy Award winner Matthew Mungle is regarded as one of Hollywood's premier prosthetic and special effects makeup artists. And he's got more than 100 movies and television credits to his name. For over 20 years, Oscar winner Matthew Mungle has created some of Hollywood's most memorable faces and prosthetics. I love creating characters and creating makeup for actors that really know what they're doing and can emote from a prosthetic. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Mungle and fellow artist John Jackson created the Austin Powers makeup for Mike Myers in Austin Powers' Man of Mystery and for the character of Dr. Evil. 
The script gave Matthew a blueprint for the character, but Mungle and Jackson came up with the rest. It said it was a character out of Dr. No who was bald and had a scar on his face and long earlobes. I've been frozen for 30 years, okay? In 1993, Mungle won the Best Makeup Oscar for Dracula, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. I am Dracula. It was just such a great job, especially working with Gary Oldman and changing him into the old man and the wolf creature, the bat creature. Look what your God has done to me. Spider-Man 3 proved to be a real challenge. We had to take a face cast of James Franco and I had to create a scarred prosthetic on his face after the bomb had gone off and it scarred his face. I need your help. You don't deserve my help. In Charlie's Angels Full Throttle, Matthew created a prosthetic nose for Cameron Diaz and aged Drew Barrymore over 40 years. Good morning, Charlie. In 1997, Mungle received an Oscar nomination for Ghosts of Mississippi, starring James Woods. The role required Woods to age 30 years throughout the movie. I was experimenting with gelatin and thinking, this might work for an old age because it looks more like skin than foam latex. After years of working in the business, what's the key to Matthew's success? I really enjoy what I do. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. There's more Reels Channel movie news at 3 to the hour every hour and on reelschannel.com.